Can Erling Holland be the key for Manchester City to unlock the Champions League gate? One may question if this curse will ever be broken after Manchester City labored for years in pursuit of Champions League success and brought in numerous excellent strikers in an effort to carve its name in the record books of the greats and elite clubs in the European scene. But it appears there is still hope with the most recent acquisition of one of the top talents in the world. Will Erling Haaland be successful at a position where players like Gabriel Jesus, Sterling, and Aguero failed? This season, all eyes will be on the young man, and the big question will be, does Erling Haaland have the secret to the long-awaited triumph? Before we dive into the video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified each time we post new videos. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Everyone in the football world immediately stood up and took notice when Erling Haaland suddenly broke into the Champions League stage. The toughest tournament in European football is meant to be challenging. Holland made it appear otherwise. The Norwegian superstar, who was 19 at the time, made his Champions League debut in Salzburg in September 2019 and scored three goals. But this hat trick wasn't your typical one. After only two minutes, Holland scored his first goal and he finished his hat trick before the halftime whistle had even been blown. Смотрит на судью, а что судья? Подождите, подождите, говорит Холланд. Здесь есть Holland showed no signs of slowing down after joining Borussia Dortmund in January 2020, and he started breaking multiple Champions League records. Holland became the first player to score more than one goal in four straight games, became the youngest player to reach 20 goals, and became the only player in the competition's history to reach 10 goals in as few games. Sancho, oh, it's a good pass from Sancho, oh, and it's an excellent finish from the substitute, Erling Haaland with only his one third touch of the game, his first shot on goal. Among the greatest forwards to ever play in the Champions Leagues are Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Karim Benzema, Raul, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Haaland, though, surpassed them all in the beginning. Only Karim Benzema and Robert Lewandowski have scored more goals since their Champions League debut than Holland. Holland has set records outside of the Champions League as well. On his Bundesliga debut for Dortmund, he scored a hat trick. He later became the league's youngest player to score 50 goals. Sancho, oh, it's a good pass from Sancho. Oh, and it's an extra. Talking to Zah, looks up. There's Holland. It's a brace for the Norwegian. He's on his own. He's on his own. He's on his own hat-trick. Oh, what a debut for Erling Haaland. They wanted to see him. They wanted to see what he's got. Well, he's got a hat-trick on his debut. That's what he has. These incredible goal-scoring feats, according to former Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper Eric Thorsvid, who was the first Norwegian to play in the Premier League, shouldn't be shocking. Thorsvid described him as a physical monster to CNN Don Riddell. He can run so quickly, he's physically tough, and he can shrug people off. But he needs to familiarize himself with the patterns that Man City uses. He has great ambition and determination. He is focusing on his physique with his own tutors. He wants to win the Golden Boot and the Ballon d'Or. And I believe that strikers like him are a unique species that only care about scoring goals. It's simple to envision rival managers and defenders losing sleep over the possibility of playing Holland now that his transfer to Manchester City has been announced, putting an end to one of the most passionately fought transfer sagas in recent memory. After all, City is a side that, together with Liverpool, has scored 89 goals in the Premier League this season without using a known striker. Occasionally, especially during the pivotal 2-2 draw between City and Liverpool, at the Etihad, observers had bemoaned the absence of an obvious number 9 to finish the numerous chances Pep Guardiola's squad creates. 
Although this may be oversimplifying some of City's problems moving forward, there have undoubtedly been times when a goalkeeper with Holland's skill set would have benefited from a shot on goal. However, competing for Guardiola may be famously challenging. Some players like Jack Grealish this season may find it difficult to adapt to Guardiola's philosophy and playing styles despite the Spaniard's reputation as one of the finest tactical minds in history. Holland undoubtedly possesses the physical skills necessary to succeed in the Premier League, but according to Thorsfid, adjusting to Guardiola's playing style could be more difficult. He will bring plenty of goals, of course, but he also needs to learn Pep's philosophy and the way Man City play, according to him. Others on that team are superior at dribbling, close control, and rotating players around the field. Holland is capable of doing that, but not as well as the others. It's also reasonable to wonder how much better Manchester City can really get. In the Premier League, can they really score that many more points? Surely they can't add that many more goals. However, I think there are still some margins to be gained, and the Champions League is obviously the major thing. If they win that the next season, with Erling on the club, everyone will undoubtedly credit him as the final piece of the jigsaw puzzle. When they finally caught him, they also won the award. While Thorsfid claims that Holland truly looks forward to working with Guardiola, who he calls a football genius. His Dortmund teammate Marco Royce has personally witnessed the immense potential the 21-year-old will bring to Manchester City for more than two years. This season, Guardiola's team once again utterly failed in the Champions League, losing to Real Madrid after giving up two goals in two minutes at the conclusion of regulation time and again at the start of extra time. He says made a couple of really good chances. And he's made a goal. Oh, how can you believe it, Rodrigo, again? Unbelievable. Manchester City had the place in the final in the palm of their hands. And Real Madrid had to dig deep and deeper and deeper. And look what they found. It's difficult to see Holland missing any of the chances that City had late in the second leg of that semi-final and Royce claimed that the forward skill set was exactly what Guardiola's team needed at the crucial time when things started to go wrong. Energy, a lot of enthusiasm, Royce described Holland's qualities to CNN's Darren Lewis. Many good things, confident. When you're a young athlete, you're just carefree and worryless. We only recently noticed his heightened activity when he first arrived. He has played a lot of games, so it goes without saying that he has also gained some experience over time. He undoubtedly has what it takes to be among the top attackers in the world. He is still very young. He has a tremendous lot of work ahead of him. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you found it entertaining and educative. Let us know in the comments section what you'd love to see on this channel. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.